That's the hard part. Especially for someone like you and me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm an indecisive person. <laughs> are you ready? Yes, I am. <laughs> I actually like, what is it, finding focus? Yes. Yeah. So we are going to do an activity from the mastermind so that you get to see and so that anyone who's curious gets to see kind of what we do. So I feel like you and I both, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> I don't want to speak for you, <laughs> but we're both people who have a lot of interests, a lot of passions, a lot of mm -hmm. talents and choosing which one to focus on can oh, yeah. be really difficult. Mm -hmm. The first thing that we're going to do in your blank notebook mm -hmm. is make a list of the 25 things that you would like to do. Okay. You can think of it as goals, you can think of it as milestones, um, you can think of it as like potential projects you wanna work on. Um, whatever makes sense to you, make a list of the 25 things that you would like to do. Okay. in your life oh it could be the next year it could be the next five years but generally kind of in your life okay 25 things 25 no more no less <laughs> sound good sounds awesome you ready <laughs> you're going through that very fast i mean to be fair i've done it before oh okay <laughs> and i knew going into it what i was doing right. so no comparison <laughs> This is not oh a non-comparison zone. Do I zone. not have that many goals? Mm-mm. Because -mm. also not just goals, it's like different right. ideas. Right, like, ideas, right. Like your business with your sister mm -hmm. or doing graphic design or kind of like different ideas um, that you've been looking at career-wise. Right. I also got stuck at 12. Really? Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I just, like my crazy idea number 13 was like have a travel show. Oh my like, gosh. Is that something that I really think is possible or likely? No. Right. Would I absolutely love it? Yeah. yeah. So it's it's kind of a part of it is like letting yourself like right. dream big like right. what what feels crazy right what feels impossible and adding some of those. <laughs> what do you I'm like struggling. Okay, what do I'm, I'm, I'm I'm month fourteen. Okay, so let's let's go with that. Okay, um, and let's do the second part, and maybe more will come. Yeah. So the thing that's gonna help us kind of whittle this down is the first is looking at what things are urgent. It's mm -hmm. so like what things can you only do right now and what things can wait. So for example, buying a house, mm -hmm. which before was like my goal, changed, yes. changed my focus. Um, living abroad, I want it to be now, but does it have to be? Not necessarily. Okay. All right, so then the second one is to cross out things that aren't as, that don't feel as important to you. That don't feel as important? Mm -hmm. So, for example, there's a few things that I wrote that were like, these are things that I've thought about or I've tried doing, but mm -hmm. it really isn't that important. Okay. To so, me what if my it's values. the ones that like I've crossed out that I feel like don't have to be so, like those are out now, right? So those I are, are out. Okay. But what I what I'm gonna do is also have like a second kind of like cross. Right. So I'm gonna cross out somewhere else so that I see what are the things that are not urgent and not important. Important. Right. Because should those even be on my list? Last step. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, I'm not ready. Choose only three. So only three things get to stay on your list. <laughs> <laughs> what? I know. But they, but I they have, didn't write twenty five. <laughs> true. I mean yes and no, but I think what happens when you force yourself to write twenty five That's true. Which is why I would suggest to write twenty five is That's because so it forces you to be more creative and thoughtful and you come mm -hmm. up with things like some of the ones towards the bottom I was like oh I forgot that that was even an idea I had at one point mm -hmm. but part of it too is just giving yourself the time to reflect on it if you had 25 I would say choose five uh, but with 14, 14 I would say choose three okay yeah all right oh wow I have my top five in name didn't even know it you did just from crossing things out, oh, I have five left. Oh, that's so Isn't that cool. Weird? Yeah. I was like reading through them, like, ooh, this one, that one is like, oh, actually, I already chose. I don't know why I'm like stumped. That's okay. But I don't know, but this is like, I feel like this is so good. I don't know, yeah. Because you can also always come back to this. Like, that's what's right. so nice is like these things are not. The fun thing about this is that the idea is that you should focus on these three mm -hmm. things right. and nothing else on your list. Mm -hmm. until you've accomplished something on this list. Oh, oh. So that's the hard part. Especially for someone like you and me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm an indecisive person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. For sure. No, yeah. Um, so the indecisive thing, I think something that we talked about was mm -hmm. um, prototyping. Pr 
prototyping is part of a larger conversation around design thinking that does not fit in the scope of this video, but if it's something that you're curious about, let me know what questions you have in the comments and I will put something together in a future video. But enough on that for now, let's get back to it. How do you think this might be helpful for you? I feel like I need to do it again. Maybe put more thought into it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I feel yeah. like I did put thought into it. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like grabbing my phone. I feel like I had it. Yeah, adding more. Mm -hmm. I would say that for me, the reason this is helpful is because... Yes. I always have so many things that I'm like thinking about and wanting to do. Mm -hmm. And because there's so many in my head, I end up feeling like I'm not doing enough. Right. Because I'm not thinking about what my priorities are. Mm -hmm. And so doing this kind of helps me get all the ideas out of my head. And like, even as I was doing it, I was like, oh shit, there's more. But oh, it wow. helps me get them out of my head right. and look at, okay, what what can I do now? And what's really important right, to me? Right. And then now I know what to focus on. Yeah. I was also realizing that for me, growing the mastermind means living in my purpose mm -hmm. and living in my passion. And part of that is all these it's things. It's all those things. So I can't, create the mastermind and create this experience for other people if I'm not living it myself. Yeah. Yep. So it's I'm like, I think I have to keep traveling. Yes. This is so much a part of what so I want to learn and grow through. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I hope doing an activity like this is helpful to you because as you can see, it was helpful for us. Even mm -hmm. just to have something to talk about is really helpful. It also is a really good example of some of the activities we do are really good to do on your own. I've done this on my own before, but doing it with someone else and going through the process together, I think also carries another level of effectiveness for the activity. So I hope this is helpful. I hope that you are finding focus. If there's something that you're navigating, struggling with, stuck with, um, let me know so that I can try to share more things that are helpful, that I have found helpful, that we have found helpful. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I am here to serve and share and help you grow as I grow. This is a mutually, mutually growing process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so until next time, I'll see you at the end. I don't know. I don't know what to say at the end. <laughs> Done. Cut. Sophie.